We have so much time. We have so much time. I just wish that people had a better relationship with time. You got your perspective. I just want to be happy. Don't you want to be happy? I'm actually really excited. Yeah. I feel, even though we've been traveling, we went, we flew from New York to Dallas, Dallas to Monterey, Mexico, Mexico to San Paulo, right? Oh no, no, Mexico, no, Monterey to Mexico City, Mexico City to San Paulo, San Paulo to here. Now this, and then we run right back to the airport. Thank you, thank you for having me. Brazil, how are you? Good. What can I, as a mom, do for my kids? Sure, so I think business and parenting have a lot of similarities. So when I hear those kind of stories, and I'm sure, how many people here are parents? Raise your hands. So for all the hands that just went up, you know how challenging it is. Like you can have common sense everywhere else, but when it's your kids, it's hard to maintain it. But I believe that self-esteem is the ultimate cure to everything. And I think most parents go on defense when their kids are hurt instead of offense. So when their kids are bullied, they wanna go fight the school. They wanna go fight the parent of the kid. It's defense. For me, as somebody who was bullied, because I was, you know, I was a Soviet immigrant in America in my childhood when the Soviet Union was the enemy. There was plenty of shit. I mean, if you can zoom in, I've got goosebumps. It was a very challenging time. But what my mom did was she went insular. It was offense. It was me and her in my own head hearing nothing else. By the time I was in high school, I couldn't hear anybody else. It didn't matter. By the way, both pro and con. So for me, I think the thing you can do is beat into their head about them, not about the people in Montreal or Toronto or Canada, it's not about them. It's about yourself inside your own head, your own self-worth, and and you have to pound it. A lot of parents here are like, oh, easy to say, but when their kids are making, you're right. It's, but it's no different than working out and eating healthy. It's no different than make content and put on all the platforms. The answer's simple. Pound into your kid's head their own self-worth, not the opinions of others. They'll be a happy person their whole life. The problem is most parents aren't acting that way. So it's hard for them to give advice that they don't even feel themselves. But that is the answer. So, uh, you and my sister are starting the GDB company. I know you're not putting as many content as you should be out there. Why? Uh, Why do you think? Talk to me real, we're here. Why? Well, she lives in another town. Okay. So it's a little difficult for us to Well, you don't both have to be in the content. Yeah. And she's a little, she doesn't have a lot of confidence. She's, she's really good. She knows her craft. Yeah. So what about writing or what about audio? I feel like so many people that don't have confidence are very scared of the camera, but can do much, much better writing or recording audio. This is why I spend so much time on it in my talk. I don't want people to be like me. Not listen, not everybody is ridiculously handsome and charismatic. <laughs> you know what I mean though? I don't want people to be like me. I want people to be like me where they found their voice in their media. But for a lot of you in this room, that's writing. You know, if you're more introverted or insecure, a lot of writers are, come from that framework. Or I, I really like audio, so keep that in mind. That maybe this is the reality of a lot of people here. When we're in a city where a lot of people don't think the same way we do, they don't see the things that we see. Like, story my fucking life. 
<risos> eles precisam disso, eles querem mas isso, eles só que eles emprestam. E isso não, demanda they don't tempo. Want it. So, like, it takes up a lot o que a gente pode fazer para ajudar how esses can we, how can we improve? Don't try to convince anybody. The number one mistake when you're selling something new that most people don't understand is people spend too much time trying to convince them instead of finding the person that already understands. People make it a noble mission instead of a business. My friend, I've been right and early for the last 20 years of my life. I have spent almost no time trying to convince anybody. I sometimes have a one hour meeting with a company, fly from New York to Chicago, walk in, sit down, start the presentation, and end it after 10 minutes, because I already know it's over. Every minute that you spend trying to convince somebody who's already know, is a minute that you're not spending trying to find somebody that will say yes. So, uh, I've, been, I've been for a couple of months, or maybe years, trying to figure out if I have to leave my small town or uh, just stay right there, be patient, and uh, wait for my business to be like big. Would you imagine yourself as a businessman, as a size as you are right now, uh, staying in with your city, for example, or a small town? I understand. So the question for you and everybody here is, what's big? Right, because, because this is where people get caught. It's so simple being in a small town in Argentina, thinking you have to go to Sao Paulo, or you have to go to Buenos Aires, or you have to go to New York City. It's easy, it's easy. You're like, that's a much bigger place to go. The question is, it comes down to what makes you happy. For me, what makes me happy is to play the game. Not the money, not how big or small, I just want to play. I've always wanted to play. I've watched so many people have a $1 million business in a small town in America or in the world, move to a bigger place, do five million, and be very unhappy. They were very happy at one million in their small town, they went to a bigger town, they do 10 million, and they're very unhappy. My friend, Brazil, it is time that we in the world start making happiness what we go after, not more money. We have to, we have to, right? For me, when I hear bigger, I want you to have a bigger fucking smile on your pretty face, not make 280,000 more in fucking net revenue. You understand? You have to decide that for yourself. I don't know you, you have to decide that for yourself. You said, the biggest thing that you learned is when you said, uh, what are the most, the three most important words that you're gonna die? You're gonna die. Yeah, I mean, brother, I, my biggest hope for everybody is to not have regret. Besides health, health, which you need, I want people to have happiness and as much happiness and as little regret. And you know, you're such a young man. We have so much time. We have so much time. I just wish that people had a better relationship with time. There's so much more time. And so I'm glad that that hit you because it's very real. Everything I do, everything, is knowing that it's almost impossible to be a human being. 400 trillion to one. That is the math. The odds of being, a, the odds of being somebody in here right now is 400 trillion to one. It's impossible to be a human being. And yet, everybody here is one, and I don't want you to waste it. Why? Popping on a west side, cause it's why I stay. I just made a thousand, blew it in your face. I've been going in, oh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day. Popping on a west side, cause it's why I stay. I just made a thousand, blew it in your face. I've been going in, oh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day. But this one, this one. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no 
all the time, man, it's time to get obnoxious Now I gotta drop, yeah, I'm feeling nauseous How are you? Thank you, brother How are you? Great, great, man. Let me get a school quick friend. Please I have an e-commerce agency, 45 people What would you focus on right now? <sighs> Shopify is winning, globally um, Influencer marketing to conversion of sales uh, Text Text I'm seeing incredible results in e-commerce and text Awesome. Man. Take care. Stay well. Bye. Yo, what's up, everybody? New window. I've been going in, I'm a close case. I can't wait no more, man. I gotta blow the day. Thank you, my friend. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I got it. That's good luck. Is it really good luck? No. <laughs> yeah, I usually like it on my right side because I'm righty. But this is my left side. Oh, I would like it. Are you lefty? Yeah. Most great creatives are. The and right. you. <laughs> and then they're with me. Yeah!